More than 4 million people have already lost electricity across the South, mostly in Texas, where an ice storm and bitter cold have forced rolling blackouts. What it is, what it does, you boy Jeff Kays tells me this in the building. I mean, it should be high energy, but not today. Not really. I've, I've taken a mini leave of absence. I'm going to Costco right now. Yep. And it looks very packed. Well, first I gotta see if there's a line. So this is the day after the storm. Is My it birthday nice? coming up. Wow, he mentions it. Cause I just remembered. Yeah, it is coming up, babe. I forgot to be honest. It's a little crazy out here. Not as crazy as like yesterday, but. I don't see no line. You smell that? Mm. It smells like fresh. I like fresh pizza. Yo, it's not that busy. We need printer ink, ink, printer, printer ink. Gotta be around here. What if it's over here, babe? Just kidding, it's not. One day I'll need this. Ah, I found it. I'm looking for waters. I don't know where the cases of waters are. Excuse me, ma'am. Do y'all have water bottles by any chance? Y'all are out. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Dang, they're out. I just asked the lady. She said they're out. A few moments later. As you were saying, you said you felt tired, but not tired. I'm tired, actually. My headache's going away, but I'm feeling sleepy. I'm just exhausted. I just Look, feel I exhausted. That's good. You move. I'm not. I need you to move with me. I haven't seen her the whole week. Hoes dying. I need a company. That's why you got sad when I got off the phone. Yeah. I'm like, what is wrong with him? Like, he always wants me to get off the phone. <laughs> but I don't mind staying on the phone with you either. Yeah, but we couldn't really do that because our batteries would die. I know. And we don't know if the power might turn on. But right now, our lights are on. They've been on since yesterday, all day. I was surprised. Me too. Me and my mom was waiting for it to. Yeah, exactly. Because I was on. like. Just mess with my emotions. Already. Exactly. It kept, literally it turned on at what, like 12 and then it turned off at 1230. Yeah. <laughs> when was... the lights go on, it's like, okay, like we got to do it. Do something and like take Should've advantage of TikTok, it. man. Somebody did that. Oh yeah. yeah. People were doing those TikToks. They literally, no, they Daniel were. Daniel showed me. Yeah. This dude was like. Everybody the lights on. No, like the guy was trying to cook. And as soon as the lights turn on, he ran to the, the microwave and <laughs> he put food in there. He's like, and turn it. He's like, no. <laughs> yeah. I literally felt, we felt like that. Literally, my mom turned on the oven and she put something in. <laughs> and it's a She's like, literally. And I was sitting there and I was eating. I was like, watching Rick and Morty. I was like, <gasps> and I was like, ah, meow. I was like, no. Because I was eating. I saw a TikTok like and it's on pitch black. Because like when the lights are off, like all your family gathers together, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's how it is. And so this TikTok, they were like all at the table. They were like playing games or something. Facts. And then the lights come on and they're like, everybody charge your phones, charge your phones. And they're all running to the room, like getting their chargers and so crazy. My stepdad was like late 40s or 50s we had, we in the kitchen playing sorry <laughs> and then literally when we were gonna play we were like man we so bored we decided we gonna play pool we literally lit up we took all the candles and put it in there <laughs> it was like boom 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 i like it when the lights are off no cap i do and i don't i like it i feel like i i can focus more on what i need to do
Yeah, pretty much. You don't have any distractions. Yeah. Why is there a water coming out of there? I don't know. Everybody over there speeding for no reason. Because no ice, duh. Why are you back home so early? Oh, that's mean. That's how he's going to be when I come home. Dang, why is she home already? <laughs> it's not how I'm gonna go be. somewhere. That's not how I'm hey, gonna be. Go get your hair done. I'm gonna be like, okay, bye. Skirt. You think that's how I'm gonna be? I wouldn't mind. Get your nails done too. Okay. Just to keep you out the house. whatever days the place where we get water from has not been working so I've been kind of like scarce in drinking my water but today I had a bottle in the morning and I'm drinking a bottle right now just because I don't really know when we're gonna get some more water so my lips are hella dry I'm on my way to Jamakai's house because I'm gonna shower there. Yeah, I don't have running water in my house right now. It's just been a different experience, but people have it worse than I do. I'm not really complaining, to be honest. Bro, can you chill? It is what it is. Like, in order to survive, you gotta do some things that you don't have the luxury to do at times. So, it's just adjusting to different changes i'm gonna take this shower and we will talk to y'all in a little bit actually that's what she been rocking <laughs> We just wanted to talk to y'all, you know, update y'all what was going on and what was happening. Cause it was crazy. Actually, baby made a video. Yep. Little vlog. Y'all can see it right here. He talks a little bit about his experience and his thoughts and feelings about this whole thing. And yeah, it's been a little crazy. It's just affected everybody around us in some way and for all the people who were hating outside hating because like i said everybody was like hating like not hating oh, but just like, like how people outside of texas yeah like we get we get y'all like experience it more than us but this is like our really first time like going through something like that like so we ain't have no salt trucks like y'all we ain't we ain't have all of that so we ain't really know what to do texas in general don't experience something like that every year that that's like this is literally something once in a blue moon also we didn't think that it would be as severe you know we hear like oh all these hurricanes come i mean we get a lot of hurricanes but a lot of times we don't really take it seriously even with like hurricane harvey we didn't really take that seriously yeah we didn't but it took that one time because when that next hurricane was coming everybody was ready they was cooping up what we can say is like just preparing for anything in any situation like you should have food stocked up anything that you need in case something like a power outage happens see, or that's that, see see that's what really messes up that's what messed everybody up the power because the power was out and it was cold 
people up north they don't have to think about that like oh it's getting cold our power might go off because like they're prepared in some way also just preparing like where you're living like my neighbor was talking about how he has extra insulation or like having a fireplace or like having a gas stove because if you have an electric stove and the electricity goes out like what are you to do like yeah, them, them electric stoves was not coming in handy that moment. Or I know people had generators. Everybody thinks, oh, well, generators, like what? That's going to be used like once every that's, 10 years. That's, that's my stepdad's mentality. You yeah, know, man, it's look, like look it's going to yeah, sit but, there, you know, not being used or like. But you never know, though. Like times are changing. Like not everything is going to stay the same. It's going to yeah. be sitting there, but look at a moment like this. But it's it, weird. It can happen again. You just never think that something like that bad will happen where it's cold and you have no electricity or you can't, you know, go get something from the store because the ice is, I, the ice on the road is dangerous and all that. So, <laughs> like. Y'all, I'm talking about, <laughs> I'm talking about me and my stepdad went out to get some firewood. <laughs> I'm talking, oh we passed by the movie theaters and there's a dude in a truck. I'm talking, he's just drifting, just drifting okay. all in, in there just because there's ice on there. Like, and I mean, no, like for real, the ice was like thick though. Like when I hopped out to go to Lowe's, I'm talking, I started doing this. <laughs> and I wasn't even walking. I literally got out. I see. Eh. It was ridiculous outside. Like, that's another reason why they're like, it's not safe to be on a roll. It's not even just for sliding it's for people too because yeah. they not and pe some people trying to haul they trying to drive fast not realizing oh you drive too fast you hit your brake you just gonna skid we had to literally wait like 20 extra minutes because like that's how thick the ice was like even my mom's windshield wipers they were frozen they weren't even moving the wind the windows wouldn't open the, i literally had to like chip in the with the windshield wipers mm -hmm. just so it can pop out it was crazy. Our survival skills are like, we don't think about it. Our people that live in the country, they live. But because we become dependent on a lot of things, it's like, oh, they'll they'll fix it for us, or yeah, oh, they 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 got it. This 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 that see, and that's the main thing. Like that was a big slap in the face. That really, I feel like people should. I feel like that like that's something. That was really like a wake up. That show you like. No, but it is. How dependent we are on them. And it's crazy. Somebody in the house has to know something because the reason why we even had wood to burn our fireplace is because our neighbor was gonna throw some out like after cutting his tree. And he ended up asking my dad like, hey, like there's some wood, do you want some? If my dad did not take that wood, we wouldn't have had some heat coming in when the electricity was out. Like, my mom go grocery shopping, like, that's one thing she instilled in me. Like, she, a lot of people would buy one, two pace after one. Like, no, nah, she'll go in and buy, like, five <laughs> or something. Especially if it's on sale. Yeah, definitely. That's, but it's just good. She's just always taught me that, like, it's just good to stock up on things. Because you really never know. You really don't ever know. Anything could happen at any time. And you just don't know. Exactly. And they talking about some, oh, well, uh, power out. I said, what? That's why I was telling y'all even my video, like, power outage for, for what? It didn't Honestly, make any sense. I don't know all the nitty gritty details. They talking about our grid. That. They said our grid isn't prepared for that and yeah. blah, 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 blah. But it, I can't it's, say. It's, it's book. I think it's bull, and I know people are going to look at me like, nah, man, it's not. Da, 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 da. The only reason why I'm saying I think it's bull is because it's simple as how are we all going to be sitting up here with no power, but again, downtown sitting up there lit up. Not even just in Houston, Dallas, Austin, you name it. Downtown is lit up, and everybody else is in the dark. That don't make no sense to me. But you're going to... And the, the, the funny thing was, there was no... Rolling blackouts until social media 
started going crazy. Like, why is downtown on, but we all in the dark? As soon as they did that, here come the news. Yeah, it's, uh, it's rolling blackouts. Uh, yeah, and then here we go. Pew, pew, one after one. One after one. It was crazy. We're over here. <laughs> Oh, we just got power. I'm like, barely be on the phone. There was no connection like that. In a lot of places, actually, they have generators. And yeah, they do. They like do, these they do. businesses, but like, it's like, why are we not investing in that ourselves? Like in our own it's, it's, homes. Exactly. You see how smart a business is? Cause they never know. You see, I'm just, you see how smart they are? Yeah. They know what's up. We need to have survival instincts. Like we have to know what to do certain things like yeah and how to plant food and just though though it it's not basic things but at the same time it kind of it need to be that like those are actually things like we shouldn't and let go of like in the very very past y'all had water the whole time see we were see y'all had water my the career whole we was time? blessed that's because i'm gonna tell you why we had water because that trick that trick really worked i'm gonna tell you why we were cooling I had, we turned on my bathroom pipe, we turned on that sink pipe, and we turned on the bathroom, the sink in my, my mom's room too. And we just let it run. And every so often, we would just flush the toilet. Why, when you do that, the pressure, you're releasing that pressure. That way, that way the water is gonna keep flowing. If the water keeps flowing, it's not gonna freeze up like that. Versus if you got one, one just doing that, that's not enough. Yeah. It's not enough. It's not going to, all the pressure not going to come off. And this stuff we don't learn in school, which I feel we should really we'll learn in school. They don't teach you this type. That's what I'm saying. Like, school prepare you for life, but it don't. Like, the real stuff, it don't prepare you for stuff like that. It don't teach you how to buy a home. It don't teach you, even when you buy a home, these little things you need to know. It don't, it don't tell you none of this. You either go to school for it. Or you heard something from someone they taught you it. You read a book. It's not. It's not general information. General knowledge. And the the funny thing is, the knowledge is out there for you to read. But how would you know that? How would you know that? How you're would not you, thinking that's that. That's what I'm saying. How a young kid coming out of high school. He not thinking about. Let me research. What I need for my home. <laughs> That's not what most kids are thinking about. They either thinking about what college I'm finna go to or what they trying to do in their life. Or they Where's thinking the about party or where the party's at. Yeah, fact, like that shit. Ain't nobody I'm thinking. trying to turn up. When you get into the real world, you're not you're not sitting here thinking about when Abraham Lincoln let the slaves go. You not you. That's not gonna pay my bills. Yeah, that's knowledge, but. Y'all not even giving us the whole story. So what is that? What good does that do? Unless Abraham Lincoln was talking about some on the First Amendment, you need to pay your bills like this and that, or that and that. And for y'all who about to get sensitive right now, because what I'm saying, do not take no type of offense to what I'm saying. Go out here, get what you gotta get. You ain't gotta be wicked, even though there will be somebody who's gonna. Anyway, I'm getting off topic. The experience was crazy. <laughs> that was just a very that was a that's another one in the books. I guess my question for for all of us is, what are we following? Back. Brought to you by Crackhead Chronicles.